Welcome back to the channel. Today is day 161 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're gonna need until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. Take our first break. All right. That was a good first set. Of squats. Uh, I still can't believe I almost skipped leg day. That was. Yesterday I was like, it feels like it's been a long time. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't even remember what's the last time I did lag. <laughs> oh, way overdue, way overdue. But anyway, here we are, working our legs. Ready to get the first set done. Three more of the squat, and then we'll bring the bench over here. Somehow I need to do more or work out my legs a little bit better. Now the first set of squats with the bar went okay. Form is definitely not perfect, but it's a lot better than it used to be. I'm still trying to get there with the form. Rep count, decent too. Uh, I'm pretty sure, even though I think I can push heavier, a heavier load than this, I don't think I should. After further deliberation and thinking, I am here by myself. Therefore, I can't afford go down and not come back up. Not a good idea. So I'm gonna count this exercise with this much weight, at least for right now, as my warm up. Uh, unless at some point I start with extensions, which those will warm up my knees and my quads and then come over here. Maybe at that point, I'll be able to squat a little bit heavier than this. But again, it's not about how heavy I can lift. I'm not a power lifter. I'm just here to get fit, get back in shape. That's the goal, it's been the goal. We're gonna try to keep it as the one and only goal. All right, time is up. Here we go again with the second set of squats. Here we go.
Whew. Time for our second break. Oh. Definitely feel every rep. Along with the discomfort on my knees, I feel it on the quads too. Not so much on the hamstrings, but the quads. Uh, yeah, my knees are definitely feeling it. At this point is discomfort, not really pain, which I'll take discomfort over pain in day. <laughs> ah, probably wondering why I'm wearing gloves. This thing is cold, it's still cold out here. It is not as cold as it's been the past few weeks. It is definitely cold. It's too cold for me. It's about 15 degrees. Too cold for me. And it feels like summer time though, compared to previous weeks. It feels like summer. <laughs> Could only wish the winters were this cold. All right, just a few more seconds to go on our second break. We're gonna go again with another set of squats. And then we'll go from there. I know my cap braces are not. I'm not being done with good form or any time under tension or anything, but. <sighs> something is something, might not be anything, but it's a tiny bit. <laughs> might have to actually dedicate an exercise just to the calves all right time is up i know don't have to remind me here i am strapping gloves on leg day anyway here we go third set Third break. <sighs> Almost lost control in that last set. In that last rep. <sighs> oh. 
Should have eaten something. <laughs> well, we have one more set of this squats. Then we're gonna go to the extensions. I'm gonna load that thing with a whole lot of weight. And we'll see how far we can push it to. getting hot in here <laughs> I know I was just complaining about the cold but <sighs> it's in the 50s now it takes just a couple minutes to get really warmed up So we have one more set of squats and then we'll bring the bench. Still over a minute to go on our break. Third break of the first leg day of March. <laughs> ah. I don't know how I used to work out my legs when I play soccer I guess it was fun back then it's not so much fun now all right all right just a few more seconds and we're gonna get back to it All right, last set of the squats. Here we go. Another break. Woo. All right, let's bring this bench. Wow. I'm definitely using a lot of energy. Kind of winded. <laughs> Woo. All right, let's unload these things.
All right, let's keep putting weight on this thing. Cause I'm pretty sure my legs are pretty warmed up. All right, that's good for now. Let's bring you guys down a little bit. Okay. Let's bring it down just a little bit. There we go. Not that it makes much of a difference. Let's see how many reps I can do with this much weight. If we can do many reps. <laughs> I doubt it. And I still need to get uh, these paths for these exercises. I keep forgetting. And at the same time, I don't know if I want to spend the money. I should, because it is good for me. I'm the one that will benefit from it. But I'm kind of lazy, I guess. All right, let's try this. First set of the extensions, here we go. All right, let's take a break. Whew. Gosh, definitely felt every rep, decent amount of weight. What was that, like 13 reps, 15, something like that. I can probably add a little more weight However, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna do the rest of the sets at that particular pace or slower, and hopefully for the same amount of reps. <sighs> Definitely felt that exercise there. Felt it on the quads and on my shins too. <laughs> that thing is digging into my, into my legs. Oh, let's see. Wow. <laughs> All right, so let's get back to the uh, schedule or agenda, whatever you want to call it these days. All right, so today we're doing legs and squats. Then tomorrow is going to be shoulder day. Since we already did cardio and core yesterday, we're going to skip that and go straight up to tricep day on the third day. So that's the game plan right now. We'll see how it actually transpire. And then at that point, we'll just get back into the actual routine. How it's supposed to be. Hopefully, we'll not 
mess it up again. Hopefully not. All right, looks like we're getting Mexican food today. Whew. I don't know, this is what I'm saying and what I'm doing are kind of contradicting each other. <laughs> I do eat out probably too much. But at the same time, I do my best to track my calories. And I do my best to stay within my calories. I do not starve. I do get hungry from time to time. <laughs> uh, but definitely do not starve. It's kind of hard sometimes to stay within the calories when you eat outside, well, a lot of times. Most of the meals that you buy on the street, which pushes you really, really close to your limit. Unless you have like a 3,000 calorie goal, then you can have some sort of normal, <laughs> normal ca calorie take. Anyway, time is up. Here we go with the second set of the extensions. Here we go. My legs definitely feel that. All right, let's continue. So as I was saying, it is extremely hard to eat out on a regular basis and stay within your calories. Yeah, you can always find your light meals on restaurants and fast food places. But any of those usually already have too many calories. Like let's say you want to have three meals today, three actual meals without the snackings and the breakfast. You A, are gonna have a really, really difficult time to squeeze all the calories or split all your calories within those three meals. Or B, the portions are gonna be tiny and you will be hungry. Because for some reason, restaurants like to charge a premium for the word light <laughs> or fresh or healthy. They put those words in the menu, expect to pay, to pay a premium for it. So it's easier to eat healthy or at home. But that's not stopping me from enjoying life. So I love food, special, especially Mexican, Hispanic food. It's pretty freaking good. So there we go. I'll put 1,200 calories worth of one meal. <laughs> ah. And try to survive the rest of the day with the rest of the calories. So I have to be very smart about the rest of the calories for the day. Uh, let's see, hopefully I'm not talking to myself again. Nope, I'm not talking to myself, that's good. 
All right, time is up. And here we go with the third set of the extensions. Hopefully these weights will stay where they're supposed to. I don't have to be jumping the weight. All right, here we go. Ah, that burns. Oh. Okay. We have one more set of the extensions, and we're gonna go to do hem curls. But first, oh, let's reset you guys. Oh. All right, so as so I was saying, gosh, that set burn. Hopefully I'll be able to walk today. <laughs> like this pads are not too expensive just don't know which ones I should get because these pads like as I squeeze them they are fine however when I'm pushing them with my shin they dig into my leg so, I don't know. <laughs> and it's hard to believe these guys on, on the website's reviews. <sighs> oh well. Anyway, back to the timer, which we only have a few seconds to go. So we have one more set of the extensions and then we'll go to do the hem curls. And for that we'll have to take this 45ers off and put another 35er and a 25er. And we're gonna leave it there. And then we're going to try to do all the reps at the same pace we're doing the extensions. And hopefully, I don't know if we're gonna make it that far, but hopefully we'll be able to do as many reps too. Oh gosh, my legs are non-responsive right now. Is that me I'm pushing them? You bet I am pushing them. All right, time is up. Here we go with the last set of the extensions. Here we go. Ah. 
legs are burning. All right, let's start getting ready for the next exercise. All right, let's temporarily put this right here. Okay. And a 25. <laughs> Just for good measure. Ah. So I'll be curling 95 pounds. I'm gonna have so much fun today walking. Luckily, I don't think I'm working tonight. So, if I get lucky, I'll be working in the morning. Even though I, based on my exercise, I should be working in the afternoon. However, I don't like working in the afternoon, especially this time of the year. Oh. Just because it still gets dark really early, really early, or too early. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Where are we? <sighs> so I would prefer to work in the morning. Tomorrow morning. Some weird noise happening out there. I don't know if you can hear it. Definitely not the wind this time. Some sort of truck or something. But anyway, yeah, I'll prefer to work in the morning. Not tonight. Hopefully by the morning, my legs will be pain free. <laughs> All right, let's finish this up and go eat some Mexican food. probably the worst the worst thing I can say it's tell you what I eat don't do don't eat what I eat my metabolism and my body handles food different than most people if you eat what I eat you'll end up fatter than what you currently are okay there you go that's my disclaimer Whew. oh gosh Jeez. <laughs> All right, here we go. First break of this exercise. Definitely drain me. Definitely got drained by that exercise. Oh wow. Sorry, I'm losing my air. Woo, okay. So back to nutrition. Do not eat what I eat. <laughs> Don't follow my eating habits. What I eat works for me. 
If you eat as many calories as I do, you might, you may or may not get fatter. <laughs> uh, my actual daily activities are pretty active. I'm pretty active. So I'm pretty sure I burn a lot of calories throughout the day. Not just with the exercise, but actual daily activities too. My metabolism is decently fast, even though it slowed down after I turned 27. And that was like 10 years ago. <laughs> Still. So, in order to get lean or leaner, be healthier, you gotta eat healthier. Don't eat out all the time. Try to avoid fast food. Actually, last time I ate a burger was months ago and I was ashamed. I was ashamed of what I ate because it was close to a thousand calories. No, it was over a thousand calories with the fries. And I was still hungry. <laughs> I was still hungry after. Now, not worth it for sure, not worth it. All right, time is almost up. We're gonna go with the second set of the ham curls. Three total sets to go. And that will be it for today. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to walk. I definitely felt every single rep I did there on those curls. All right, time is up. Here we go with the second set of ham curls. Feeling every single rep. My body can definitely feel, can feel the exercise more than usual. Usually, I'm working out hard and my heart is pounding. But today, <laughs> I took it to another level. I will say why, because you're curling the exact same way you were curling last week. It's the pace, it's the time under tension. It's making me work harder than last time. Working out legs by yourself can be this encouraging. <laughs> oh, my only motivation right now is that after this, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, I'm gonna go do my thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go on on my day. Oh. We're still over a minute to go on our third break. 
our second break of this exercise, I should say. We have two more sets of the ham curls, and then we're gonna call it a day. Gosh, I am tired. Tomorrow, on shoulder day, I think I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did last time, which is start with the shrugs, and then move on from there. I might do the uh, reverse fly second, and then the races, and then at the very end, I'll do the uh, shoulder press. I don't think I'll have enough strength to, to push it with the extra weight I, I thought I was going to, but we'll find out. It's too early today to talk about tomorrow. <laughs> Man, it's a, that's one of the things about summertime. Bugs, there's a fly flying around. Hopefully it hasn't been on the camera. I need to kill it before it messes up my videos. All right, time is up. Here we go. Last break of the day. Hundred and fifteen. I'm really either really really out of shape or this exercise I'm pushing myself a little bit harder than last time. And I didn't even do many cab races today. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wobbly legs. <sighs> okay. All right, so last break of the day. After this break, we'll do our last set and that'll be it. <sighs> Short video, right? No? <laughs> uh, a lot of guys spend so much time in the gym I don't, I don't blame him. If I have more time, I will spend more in the gym. Twice as much time, to be specific. I'll be working two body parts a day. Maybe not all seven days. Maybe five or six. I'll say six to be kind of ballpark there. That will be the perfect world. Spend two hours in the gym, work two body parts a day, rest, eat, sleep, do it all, all over again. However, that's not perfect world for me. <clears throat> got a job, got other responsibilities at home. All I can squeeze out is one hour. More like an hour and a half. Because <laughs> uh, it's workout and then I have to go and fix you guys up on a video. Now, if I didn't have to do that, I probably, I could probably squeeze that extra time into actually working out. That will probably be after the 300 days fitness challenge. I'll work out and then work on something else. <laughs> uh, the videos will not be this long for sure. Actually, I could probably work out and then do my 
other type of videos during the three minute rest. That'll be kind of interesting. <laughs> I'm on the video all out of breath and whatnot. Oh, gosh, my legs are so wobbly. I can barely move right now. All right, time is up and here we go with the last set of the hem curls. Well, I ran out of gas there. I don't think I can push myself anymore there. Woo. All right, I need to be able to walk too. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.